Hello, my name is Emily Burt and I am the Transfer Center Coordinator at Solano Community College. And this presentation will help you choose the schools that you would like to apply to as you prepare to transfer to a four-year university. So here's some of the things we'll talk about today. One is the different factors that you'll consider as you're choosing your school. We'll then go over some search tools that you can use as you're looking for different schools to attend. And finally, I'll show you some of the ways that I navigate different colleges websites to find the information that you need to make a sound decision about where to transfer to. So we'll start with things to consider. The first thing you'll want to think about is the size and location of the campus. So where are you going to feel the most comfortable? Is that a large campus? Is it a campus in a more urban area? Do you want something with a more small feel in a, in a maybe a suburban or rural area? Do you want to stay close to home or go far away? And then are you looking for something on campus or are you looking for something online? So think about where you would like to be located as you're making this decision. Next, consider your field of study. A surprising number of students don't consider this when you're choosing schools, and I would argue that this is the most important uh, factor in choosing your school. And so, because majors are gonna differ from school to school, look at the different coursework that the majors offer. Look and see if they have certain concentrations that are interesting to you. Do they have research or internship opportunities built into the major? And then look at the faculty. If you're considering research especially, is there a faculty member that you'd be interested in working with? And so consider all of these as you're choosing your school and make sure to actually go to the page for the major and look at it and see if it's something that matches what you're looking for out of your school. Also look at the campus life. So do you wanna be somewhere that has a really robust campus life? Uh, maybe they've got sports and different organizations and clubs and where it feels like the campus has things going on all the time? Or are you looking for more for a smaller campus where you kind of feel more of a sense of community? Uh, you know a lot more people, you kind of have the same people in your classes all the time. Um, and so, you know, think about what kind of feel you want. Look at the campus demographics. Are you looking to be somewhere more diverse? See how the balance of students is at the institution and whether it's a place that you feel like you'll feel comfortable at. Also look at the campus resources. So do they have a robust transfer community? Do they have somewhere where you can go as a transfer student and meet new people? Do they have all those basic resources you need like a tutoring center, disability resources center, a veteran center, um, cultural and ethnic centers, you know, anything that's going to make your experience at the university feel better, make sure you have a community there and so that you can feel more comfortable on campus and also have the resources that you need. And then finally, some private schools are religiously affiliated. And so make sure you're aware of that and that that's something that you're comfortable with if you're looking at campuses. And finally, cost of attendance is really important. And so looking at the tuition and fees for each school, how much does it cost to live in the area? Um, and then what they have scholarship and grant opportunities. And when you're thinking about private versus public schools, um, some private schools, even though they have a reputation for being more expensive, will have lots of scholarship and grant opportunities for students that can make it even with the price of a public university. This isn't always true, but just something to consider as you're looking for schools. And then there's also out-of-state schools that offer lower to tuition rates than some of our in-state schools. And so just be aware of this and consider all of those factors as you're looking at schools. So now let's look at some search tools. The first one I'm gonna pull up, or the first couple I'm gonna pull up, have to do with CSU. And so one is the CSU campus match, and the other is the CSU degree search. And all of these you can pull up just by Googling the name of the search tool. But let's go ahead and look at a couple of those. So we'll start with the CSU campus match. And what I like about this is it has a bunch of factors here that you can take a look at. So I'm just gonna look at Northern California, and I'm gonna look at small town, and then I'm gonna search. And Humboldt comes up, and you can see here's the sports they offer, um, the enrollment fees, 
cost of living, and then it can link you to the campus website as well. And so this just helps you get a feel for the different CSU campuses. Another CSU website that I really like is the degree search tool. And so if you, so you always want to put bachelor's and then say I want to major in psychology. You can either pick a field um, and click on that. I'm just going to do psychology. Um, I want a face-to-face -face program and I'll pick search. And this is going to bring up everything that had psychology in those search fields. And so you can see it gives you the name of the campus to go to the campus page. Theoretically, these should take you to the campus websites. Um, sometimes the links are broken and so you'd want to go through the home page. Um, but again, this just gives you an idea of what majors are offered at each school. Um, and so again, another uh, really great website to use. Going back to our PowerPoint here, um, we have two UC search tools that I don't think are as robust as the CSU ones are, but still can give you some information. And so let's go to the UC website. And so this is the campuses and major search tool. And so if you float down here, this is probably where you wanna start. You can click on the different schools. So I'm gonna click on Santa Cruz here. Um, and it'll take you to a little info section about, you know, what to expect at the school, how many students go there. Um, you can look at some of these different services that they offer, but this just gives you a brief overview of the campus. And then if you're wanting to find different majors at UC, this isn't my favorite document, but it is something that contains all the majors in one. And so they group everything by different categories. And so say I'm looking for majors in communication. I can click on communication. It's going to bring up, if we scroll down a little bit, majors that offer um, categories within that uh, communications bubble. And so I can see here's all the different uh, UC campuses that offer degrees in communications or in fields similar to communications. And so that's another one that you can use in order to look more in depth at the majors that you see. Okay, going to our next slide here. Uh, there's some other databases that you can use, especially if you're looking out of state. And so I just wanna show you a couple of these as well. Sorry, that took a minute there, uh, but these are, this is the a degree with a guarantee website. And this is the general website that you can use to look up information on our associate degree for transfers, which you may have heard about uh, that transfer to our CSU system. But we also have agreements with some other universities uh, that accept these degrees. And so some of them are our private schools within California, and you can see lists of them here. Uh, Western Governors University is an online school that accepts our associate degree for transfer. And then we also have an agreement with historically black colleges and universities, about 30 of them. And if you get a 2.5 GPA and at least 30 units or an associate's degree, uh, you're guaranteed admission to these schools. And so you can also click here to see a list of these schools. Um, something I would highly consider if you're looking to go out of state and just get more information about them. So that's where you can find that information. Okay, so going back to our presentation. So the next one we can look at together is the College Board Search. I think these two search engines are either uh, the same or super similar. So I'm just gonna look at College Board. So we'll go to their website and what you can see here is, again, it's just a kind of way to narrow your search. And so you can look at the housing, you can look at the location, what kind of sports and activities they have, all of those things. Um, and it searches nationally for you. And so it gives you more than like the CSU or UC search tools will, um, because it's going to look at uh, colleges across the nation. 
The next thing we'll look at is the College Navigator search. And this is actually my favorite website to search on because the search tools are really robust. Um, it can be a little tricky to navigate. And so I'll just show you some of the things that I look at when I go to this website. And so you can search by state. Um, you can browse for programs here. And this is kind of what I was meaning when I say it can be a little tricky. There's a ton of different majors. Um, you can see even as you go down, you know, and narrow your search, there's still even more search options. And so, again, you just kind of have to put in a bunch of search tools or terms because there might be majors within different categories that you want to take a look at. And so just make sure to go through these categories and really kind of study what's in each category. Um, search by level of degree, public and private schools. Um, tuition, fees, you know, campus setting. I really, really like the search tool, um, but again, it can be tricky to navigate. And so, you know, if you need help navigating any of these search tools, feel free to stop by the transfer center or send me a message or an email and we'll make sure to get you the help that you need. And then finally, um, the Western uh, Undergraduate Exchange or WUI program is a program that we have with several Western states. Um, it's a, basically uh, an agreement that we have with each other that allows students to take or apply to these schools and they pay no more than 150% of resident tuition. And so I'll show you an example, but this one can offer serious discounts on out-of-state schools and can be a great opportunity if you're looking to go out of state. So I'm gonna search for Montana as I'm looking at this search tool. And for some reason, Idaho State is the first thing that comes up, but we'll go ahead and click that um, just to show a couple of things. And so first you always wanna check um, if they accept transfer students for this program. Yes, do they have a GPA per, uh, cutoff for transfer students? Yes application deadlines not all they won't always offer this for every major and so you want to make sure that the major you're interested in is offered there but here's the point I really wanted to make as you can see their resident tuition is usually about six thousand dollars their non-resident tuition is usually about twenty two thousand dollars but with the WUI program you would pay only nine thousand dollars so you're saving thirteen thousand dollars in out-of-state tuition um, by participating in this program. And so, again, if you're looking to go out of state um, and staying in that kind of Western area, really, really great search tool to use, uh, great opportunities to attend out of state at a discount. So the next thing I'm gonna do is show you what I do as I look for admissions information on different college websites. And again, you know, maybe for some of you, this is really comes to you easily, um, but often I have trouble finding the information I need in a really quick way. Um, everybody's admissions websites are different. And so it just takes a little bit of time to navigate them. And so I chose two schools that I've attended that we can look at. So I chose Sacramento State and Colorado State University. And so we get to the homepage of the website, kind of look around, see what's there. Um, often what I'll do is I'll look and see, do they have their admissions website uh, listed right at the front page? They don't, but I can see this apply button here. And so when I see that, I can see here's what they talk about for tuition, financial aid, and housing. But what I'm really looking for right now is admissions information. And so I'll click on that. And then um, what I want right now is information on the application process. And so I'll click on that. You can see that this talks about uh, application period. It talks about what to do after you've applied. It talks about admissions decision, and you can see there's a transfer student option for all of these. Um, I look up in the corner and I see information on impacted majors, process for a transfer student, but I'm particularly interested right now in looking at impaction. So this is majors that are going to have additional requirements beyond the minimum requirements to admit to Sac State. And so I can see, okay, so here's some of the programs that are impacted that I'm gonna to have to ha make sure to have those extra requirements met. 
And so I've already gleaned a lot of information here about what the admissions requirements are. The next thing I would probably look at if I was looking at a university and wanted more information is their academic programs. And so let's say for this example that I want to major in political science. And so I'll see, okay, here's what they offer. I'm going to scroll down and see political science here. Go ahead and click on that. And right off the bat, I see some interesting things. I see some information on internships, um, Sacramento semester program, model UN program. So that's already catching my attention. Um, you can see kind of a description of the program. And then I want to explore their degree opportunities. So I'm going to click that. It's actually bringing me to their general catalog. And so I can see, okay, they have a few concentrations within this program. And here's some of those special features we were looking at before, you know, opportunities to work in the state capital. It's going to talk about the different career possibilities within this major. And then finally, I can look at what courses they offer and see if this is interesting to me. And so I'll scroll down here. Usually you're going to have um, many or all of your lower division requirements completed by the time you transfer. And so really, you know, take a special look at the upper division classes um, that you would be taking. And so you can see, okay, are these the kind of classes that I'm looking for? Is this going to be something that falls in line with my interests? And so that's, those are two of the things I would start with, admissions requirements, and I would also look at uh, the major. And then one last thing you might look at, um, at the time I'm recording this, we're in the middle of the pandemic, and so I would look for opportunities to visit the campus, um, whether that's in person, whether that's virtually. Obviously, if you are away from the school, so if you're um, looking out of state, you usually have to do some kind of virtual tour. And so I'm going to look for information on how to tour the school. And sometimes, like I said, this can be a little hard to find, um, even though I do this all the time. It's sometimes hard to navigate. And so, okay, I see here, join us for a virtual event. I'm going to take a look at that. And here I'm seeing, okay, they're doing virtual campus tours. And so uh, making sure that I have that opportunity to visit campus, if I can't do that in person, uh, seeing if there's a virtual event. And so this just gets you familiar again with that campus life piece, with the feel of campus. Uh, you can look at the student life tab here see what services they offer. And so again, just things to explore. Obviously, I'm not doing a deep dive into this, um, but as you look at college websites, this is something I'd want you to consider. So now let's look at an out-of-state school. So we're going to go to Colorado State's website, and let's start with the admissions just to see if we can get some information. And so right off the bat, we see a virtual tour. Um, there's a view book that you can access. It's going to talk about some of the outcomes for students, um, you know, different housing information. This is making me miss Colorado State a lot. Um, and then as we get to the bottom, it's going to talk about um, where to find your admissions counselor. And to go back to the local schools piece, if you're looking for a rep from uh, CSU or UC, um, that's something that the Transfer Center can help you with. A lot of times for the out-of-state schools, it will be a matter of finding a button like this where you can find your counselor or you can contact the general admissions office. And so that's just on the front page. Let's look for the basics. So this is information for future students. And let's see if they talk about transfer students, and they do. And so I'm going to want some more information than that. And so here's the in-depth page about transfer students. It's great. They have a transfer admissions appointment that you can make. Um, you can sign up for more information. And so you can do an information request with them. But I want to find out what their admissions requirements will be. And so I can see they're going to offer a, a transfer evaluation. And then I can see um, here's their transfer application guide. So I'm going to say get started now. And it's going to talk about all these things, why you should apply, when, what do they need. And what I'm looking for right now is what they look for. And so it's going to talk about 
kind of their transfer class profile about where the GPA range is, uh, how many credits people are bringing in. And just to note, you know, we're going to tell you most of the time for CSU and UC to have your 60 credits completed. A lot of out-of-state or private schools let you transfer with many less units than that. Um, and so it's a wide range depending on where you transfer, but just be aware of that. Um, and that's why you're seeing 28 to 67 credits. And so you can see they're looking for at least a 2.0 GPA. Um, they're looking for a competitive GPA that's at least 2.5, and then you can see the middle two, uh, GPA percentage is that 2.8 to 3.6 range. And so I would also say, let's find out about the major. And so we'll go back, because I noticed I saw that a couple screens ago. And we'll go back up. And it talks about having our program. And so let's look and see if they have my political science major again. Go to academic programs. And I keep scrolling down here. And great, they have my major. And so I can take a look at that. And it's going to give me information about the major. Um, and if I click on this, it's going to take me again to their catalog. And so again, potential occupations, the concentrations they have, and then I can view the requirements for the major as well. And so just like Sac State, taking us to the catalog, giving us an overview of the major. And then another thing caught my eye as I was looking at this, and you can see that like Sac State and their impacted majors, this has a page of competitive majors. And so a few of their programs are gonna have higher admissions requirements than the basic admissions requirement. And so if you click on something like engineering, you're going to see for transfer students, here's going to be some of the requirements. And so just be aware of that. There's something you always want to check in about um, at every university. Some of them are going to be upfront about it like this. Other times you want to check in with an admissions counselor, but um, that's going to give you an idea. If we're looking more for those campus feel, um, this website gives you um, information on location, campus life, um, and so some of those things that we were talking about before about campus life and just the feel of campus you can get from pages like that as well. But hopefully that gives you a start. Um, we're always here at the transfer student to help you navigate these things if you're having a hard time, but I always encourage you to do some of this work first and then for the additional information you need visit the transfer center. And so that's just something I want you to consider as you're going through and looking at this. So finally, I just wanna to say to utilize your resources as you're going through this process. Ask the people that you trust and that give you good advice uh, to help you in making this decision. Also consider talking to your counselors, to the transfer center, uh, to professors that maybe attended the schools you're looking at, and then especially university representatives. So we have a number of representatives that come to Solano uh, from our local area and even, you know, from some of the Southern California schools for UCs uh, that will give you some information about their schools and help you find that it's a good fit. Uh, for the most part, representatives uh, especially the ones that I've met are going to be up front of that with you about whether it's a good school for you um, and whether it's going to be really fit your needs and your goals. And so use them as a resource as well, but just make this a careful decision um, and make sure that you really are including those people that are important to you so that you have that feedback as well. Again, we want to look at applying to at least two to three schools. And so having those top three in mind will help you as you go through the application process. And so this is our contact information. Always email us at transfer at solano.edu. Uh, our number is listed there as well. And we hope you, that you'll reach out to us as you need anything and wish you good luck in your search.